Hi everybody, it's Rob Evans here from Studios Personal Training and Packnam B&I Achievers. I have a great guest with me here today, it's Sangeeta from That's Right Bookkeeping. Thanks for joining me today. Oh, thanks for having me, Rob. And so in the space of bookkeeping, tell me what it is that a bookkeeper does. Alrighty, so we're not just your data entry people. We don't just get your bank statement and copy it and put it into your software. Mm -hmm. We make sure that the information that we receive is correct and make sure that the GST is correct on it. We make sure that all the um, transactions are put through to the right general ledger codes. Yeah, cool. So a lot of people uh, in small business, medium-sized business, they will do it themselves rather yes. than think, oh yeah, I need to employ somebody to, you know, to do that. Tell us the advantages of having you, a bookkeeper. You, yeah, you yeah. doing it rather than yeah. Something so taking it on firstly, we save time. Okay, so your business owner who works all day, the last thing they want to do is their books, mm. and when they do come to do their books, they're always late. They don't know where the finances are. Are like they they just go day by day. Mm. So having a bookkeeper to make sure that everything's done on a timely manner is a a godsend. Okay. Yes. Um, but also at the same time, um, it's really important for people, business owners don't understand GST. Yes. Okay. They just think everything's got GST. Yes. It doesn't. Mm. Uh, they get, for example, they get Vic Road's um, invoice and it's got three different types of GST on it. Well, when I say GST, it's tax on it. Yes. So one part is uh, GST free, one part is GST, and one part is STEM duty, mm. which is best excluded. Mm. So they don't understand that. They put everything to GST and claim the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So if they get audited, they can get in trouble yes. because they have not processed it correctly. So having a professional doing that for them, it's peace of mind. Mm. Having um, an accounting background myself, I know how uh, important it is to make sure that obviously the records are uh, uh, you know, in shape. And I guess what I see with a lot of businesses is that um, they're busy running the business mm -hmm. and then the, the whole bookkeeping, tax, all that kind of stuff is an afterthought. Is that, yes. is that what you yes. say? Yes, oh, definitely. They always think that that's the last thing that we have to think about. You know what? That's the first thing you should be thinking about. Mm. Because if you don't have your P&L up to date, how do you know you're making money? You could mm. just be going through the motions yes. and just going, oh, I'm working hard, but then I'm not seeing where the money's going mm. or what's happening with it. Mm. Um, they, they confuse profit and loss and balance sheet a lot as well. Yes. So a bookkeeper can help with those kind of stuff. So if you engage us and say to us, look, I don't understand anything. I want at the end of the month, explain all the uh, reports to us. So we're happy to do that. Mm. So it just depends on the basis how you engage us. Yes. Some people just want us to do, do the data entry and then do the GST Rex and lodge the passes for them. Some people like to go into details and go, okay, can you show me my P&L, what, what profit I've made, what's going on. So yes. And you also uh, you also like pay people's bills, you do their payroll yes. and all yes. that sort of stuff yep. as well, yep. so depending on the level of service yep. that people So we, we do payroll, but we only process payroll. We cannot mm. give any kind of advice on payroll. Yep. I do have a HR diploma, but I don't use it. Uh, because obviously there's so many types of awards out there. Mm. So I have a HR person that I um, get them in contact with. Yeah, so that sounds. person goes through the contracts and gives you the rates and everything and then you come back to us and we put it in the system for you. Yes. So we of obviously we have to be STP com uh, compliant as well. So every pay run that runs has to be filed. Yes. So. And so you work with people um, throughout Australia and New Zealand. Yep. Maybe you could tell, so people get an idea that are watching this, uh, what's your ideal client? What, who are you looking to really help? Um, I'm looking for business owners who are struggling to have family time, mm -hmm. who are struggling to keep up with their ATO obligations, um, who have done the job themselves and they know what goes behind the scenes. Mm. They know that it's a lot of work. It's, it probably takes them a couple of hours to do the job. I've yes. studied, I've worked hard, and I could do that in an hour's time. Mm. So it's more my knowledge that goes behind it. So yeah, so those are the kind of people I'm looking for. One of the things that I notice with um, like my coaching clients, when I, I'll finish a session and I've, I've worked with a lot of business owners and I'll say, oh, what are you doing? You know, the rest of the day, I say, oh, I'm going home tonight to do my invoicing. I'm going home tonight to do you know, yeah. my baths or, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I think, oh, okay, maybe you need to yeah. Uh, you know, have a bookkeeper and accountant in place so that you can, you know, yeah. get that family time back. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, 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 fantastic. 
So tell me, how can people get in touch with you? What's the best way? Um, they can just email me, sagiro.trb.services, or ring us on our mobile, 0400 Fantastic. So um, thanks for joining me here today. It's been great to hear more about your business. Yep. I'm going to put the links below this video so you can get in touch with Sangeeta. Um, she really knows her stuff. You're on your team. Well yep. done. The business that you've built. Thank you. Thank you very much.